case is uh, currently underway, but this morning we expect the court to give a ruling on the adjournment of the case. This is after the prosecution had requested for that, and of course the defense team argued that uh, they didn't go through the documents at the time they had was little, and of course they're opposing that request by the prosecution team. So let's cross over to the Milimani Law Courts. Number two, that Mr. Wandugi was not here on Monday, 29th October 2018 when the defense and republic agreed for the supply of the statements and that they supplied the documents that came into their possession by virtue of the consolidation. Number three, that Mr. Wandugi, who is in the court of appeal, knew these cases were to proceed as much as he knew this case, I think I've repeated, knew, knew that these cases were to proceed. Number four, that the witnesses to be called today will not rely on the documents applied yesterday, hence Mr. Wandugu will have time to prepare on the new documents. They relied on the case of R.V. Mohammed Ismail and others, criminal case number 75 of 2011, which basically talked about disclosure. Now, to start with, let me make it very clear that the court is aware about the authorities cited Together with, the, together with the arguments presented by learned counsel from each side, I make the following observations. Number one, on 29th October 2018, after due consultations between the defense and the prosecution, they convinced the court that an adjournment of one day would be sufficient for them in order to receive the documents and return for hearing today, hence today's date for hearing. Number two, Mr. Wandugi was not present in court on 29th October 2018 and is not present in court today. Mr. Osiemo was holding brief for Mr. Wandugi for accused three and accused seven. Mr. Osiemo, who is present today, was also present on 29th October 2018. So Mr. Wandugi cannot run away from the agreement. But three, Further, the prosecution has indicated that the witnesses lined up today will not touch on the statements applied to the defense yesterday. So Mr. Wandugi doesn't have to worry. Number four, the hearing dates in this matter were, were taken by consent, which, which Mr. Wandugi cannot run away from. Number five, the other accused persons who also faced additional and new charges besides Mr. Wandugi's clients. Number six, and finally, there are 37 accused persons in this trial. It's a peculiar trial with so many accused persons. Nowhere in the CPC or in the Constitution that it refers to accused persons. It only refers to an accused. This court will guard against applications that will trample on the rights of other accused persons. Today's date was agreed by consent. The application by Mr. Wandugi through Mr. Ogamba does not meet the threshold of an adjournment in this case, this case to proceed.